Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is gonna be a you and them love reading. We're gonna look at all of your energies, your person's energies, and where all of this is headed in the near future. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So keep that in mind. All right, let's get into this. Guys, angels, guys, for Aquarius regarding love. This reading will be um, best for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. And if you find that this doesn't resonate for you at all, then check out my playlist for Aquarius. I'll have it linked in the comments below this video. All right, Spirit, tell me what is going on in this connection. What's going on between Aquarius and this other person at this time? Keep an open mind and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Could be a past life connection. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. Let's grab an oracle. Tell me more about this connection. This is the wisdom of the oracle. What else can you tell me for Gemini? Not Gemini, Aquarius. For Aquarius. I'm thinking of Gemini because they also got keep an open mind. So I'm thinking. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. All right, let's see. Tell me more, Spirit, for Aquarius regarding their connection. Tell me more about this connection. Tell me more about this connection between Aquarius and this other person. Between worlds. What else can you tell me? Okay, so I just heard old and new. What else? Ugh, that's too many, but we'll look at them. Okay, we got peace, happy, happy, and poised. Wow. This is great energy. Peace, happy, happy. And poise. Poise is a card about like ready to take some sort of action. I'm going to put those back to see what else I get. But what that tells me is almost like um, there's going to be something bright, happy coming your way, Aquarius. Or some sort of shift that this connection is taking. Tell me more about this connection here and now yeah there's it's almost like this there's um a transition that will take place here from past to future something different and i feel like right it hasn't full it hasn't happened yet it's like you're at the at that uh threshold bottom of the deck we got blessed so yes i feel like this is something that's coming your way um, when it comes to this connection, some sort of change, a shift. And it could be somebody from the past blowing in. <laughs> we'll see. So let's start with your energies here. Tell me about Aquarius and the energies they're bringing to this connection spirit. Tell me about Aquarius. Aquarius, I have you on this side with this deck, and then I have your person on the other, or I will. <laughs> so um, flip it if it doesn't resonate for you, or if it resonates better to flip the energies, feel free. Tell me more about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, please. What are the energies they're bringing to their connection? Oh, fire ant. Interesting. Drama. Conflict. Something is going on here, Aquarius. I don't know if this is conflict that you're experiencing or drama you're experiencing in your life right now or if it's regarding this other person. 
tell me more about Aquarius. Wow, yeah, there's like a tower moment here, an unexpected event that either you initiated or you're experiencing here. So let's see, let's see what else we can get. Some sort of shape up for sure. Sorry, tell me more about Aquarius. Spirit. Tell me more about Aquarius. The energy. What do you think? When it comes to this person or this connection. We got the Three of Cups. Judgment. Wow. So I feel like when it, you want. Um, possibly to come together with this person, have a reunion with this person, or you've had some sort of clarity and awakening about reuniting or a group of people here. Let's break this down. Tell me about the three of cups. What's this about? Why is the three of cups here? Ace of Cups, yeah. Why is the Three of Cups here? Nine of Wands reverse. It's almost like you're opening yourself up to the idea of possibly new love or reunion, something starting here with regarding love. Maybe there are trust issues also for some of you here because of your past or your past with this person. But it doesn't keep you from having these feelings. Yeah, I don't feel like something's officially started. I have the Ace of Wands reverse. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Wands reverse. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Why is the Page of Wands reverse? Ace of Swords. So I feel like you have possibly there's not a lot of communication between you and this person or it's not the communication you want to be having because i feel like you have something to say regarding what you feel you have the ace of swords ace of cups on your end you're, you're thinking about the new something new and possibly thinking this person is the one that you really want to spend your life with or or build something special with with the ten of pentacles so let's look at your person. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with, Spirit. Tell me about their energies. But I feel like there was some drama that happened between you or that affected this connection. Tell me about this person that Aquarius is dealing with, Spirit. Can you tell me about this person? Yeah, they, they have a, a, some sort of authentic truth that they need to express as well. Because that's what the black egg is all about. It's a spiritual card and it's about the truth. Let me just look at that real quick. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. Yeah, this is all about the truth, the truth, and nothing but. And it's like this person needs something, needs to express themselves or the truth of something, basically, if I could talk. Okay, so let's see. We get an oracle for them. 
and get some more insight into this person that Aquarius is dealing with. Aquarius, if this resonates for you at all, then leave me a comment. Let me know. Like the video as well. It's a free way to support the channel. Shows other people this video and they might receive a message as well. Tell me about this person, Spirit. Give me some more insight into this person. Past life. So another card about the past. Memories, past life, nostalgia. You have had a connection with this person in the past. It could be a past life connection as well. But this person is definitely in your past. So let's see. What messages can we get for this person? Spirit, what can you tell us? Ah, barely. This deck is very stiff. This is the Cosmic Slumber Tarot. Spirit, tell me about this other person's energy. What do we need to know about this person's energy? About this person's energy. Six of Swords reversed. What else can you tell me about this person? Their energies. Okay. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person has something to say, and it's the truth and nothing but. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person has some sort of regrets when it comes to the past. Maybe they're missing you in some way or thinking about you, thinking about the past. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Why is the Six of Swords reverse? So I feel like you both want to talk to each other. Ten of Wands. This deck is called Torches. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? <laughs> Five of Cups again. <sighs> Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this person has a path they need to choose. And again, I don't feel, I feel like this is reminding me of here and now in between worlds. Um, it's like someone hasn't officially walked through this door. I feel like this is someone who is thinking of the past, maybe of returning to the past with the Six of Swords reversed. That card can sometimes mean that someone left a situation and now they want to come back. Um, can I get one more please for the Six of... Ten of Pentacles reversed. Usually this card is about lack of stability, lack of financial stability, um, unstable home, or an unstable commitment, or a broken commitment. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reverse? The fool. Yeah, this could be somebody that has left a situation. Wants to have a new beginning here. So tell me about this Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Five of Swords reverse. Interesting. So this person, they're thinking of the past and they're burdened by what happened. I don't know if they caused the conflict, if there was deception here. I don't know if there was a breakup here, but there is baggage. 
and your person's thinking about this. Tell me about the fool. Three of cups reversed. Can I get one more for the fool? Where's the fool here? Eight of pentacles. Probably work or money got in the way here. Or perhaps there's still work to be done in order to have this commitment or this reunion. Because I feel like this person's thinking about a new beginning and it has something to do with you. About taking a risk here. What's this Queen of Swords about? They could be seeing you like this, like a Queen of Swords energy. Very direct, hard to read. Let's see, what's this Queen of Swords about? But they have the black egg, which tells me they have some sort of truth that they want to communicate here. Okay, got two. Three of Swords and the world. Holy crap. Again, the world and the fool. This is all about a new cycle here. New beginnings. Endings towards new beginnings. And it's almost like they want to talk about the the breakup or the heartbreak or the difficulty. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Can I get one more? Eight of Swords reversed. Breaking free. Um, no longer being held back by fear. Fear is no longer holding them back or they're not feeling stuck um, anymore. So I think this is someone that they want to tell you the truth about something. They need to tell you about the past and the future. So it's almost like they want to talk about the, t the past with the idea of leading towards a conversation about the future. So where is all of this headed? I'm going to pull a couple of cards here for the outcome for the near future. Spare, where is all of this headed between Aquarius and this other person? Where is all of this headed in the near future? All of this headed spirit. Four of Swords reverse. Where's all of this headed? So this is some someone that is restless, needing to take action, or needing to speak up, open the lines of communication after being quiet. Ooh, we got the Knight of Swords reverse. What else can you tell me? Where is all of this headed? We'll have to, we're definitely gonna clarify all of these, but I definitely wanna clarify that Knight of Swords reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse. So we had a Three of Cups reverse and a Three of Pentacles reverse. Three of Cups on your end. So I feel like there could be another person here or an interference here. And, you know, I feel like with this Knight of Swords reverse, this could mean that there is an intercepted message or a message that cannot go through for whatever reason. Oh, and then the Eight of Cups. Very interesting. Walking away leaving something in the past, moving forward, moving on. This is all related here. So someone's taking some sort of action with the Four of Swords reversed or talking again, like I said, the Four of Swords reverse is a card about you know, doing all of the healing and resting and, and and relaxing and thinking and reflecting that you want to do and then moving on from that or using that to take some sort of action. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you, Aquarius. If it did, 
leave a like, leave me a comment. I love to leave, uh, love to hear from you. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone who already likes, shares, subscribes, does all of that. Thank you so much. All right, Aquarius, I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.